Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Starfield. Now last time we obviously liaised with Delgado, told him what had happened and all the rest of it and he sent us off to Neon to uh, meet with one of his contacts, a lady called Estelle Vincent and she was going to get us into Genodyne Systems so we could uh, get some information on their tech that allows them to absorb the energy of storms. I don't know. We had to try and speak with a lady called Ayumi Komiko in order to get her pass to roam about the Genodyne Systems offices freely and the power cell, power center, something it was called. But she wants money. So we thought, blow it. Let's get some information to blackmail her. And we did exactly that last time. So let's get into it. Aha, Andreja. All right. Let's go and show this woman what we got. Show me what you got! Yeah, she seems to think that she's going to get some big amount of coin out of us, I think, but... Nah. It was undetermined last time. It didn't give us an amount. Oh! Oh dear, what's happened here then? What? A disciple? Crumpled up like a pretzel on the floor? We didn't do that, by the way. Did you? No. Maybe they just maybe they just had a little bit of an argument and and neon got done in the house that Aurora has built. Yeah, and the chunks employee is still here. I think the chunks employee is not well. All right, hello. Nothing beats getting zoned in the members' lounge. I'll bet, sir. Uh, all right, let's talk to this woman. Where is she? There she is. Excuse me. Hello. Bring back the money for the pass. Or are you continuing to waste my time? Really? Reduce your price to zero or this evidence ends up on SSNN. How the hell did you find that? It was Estelle Vincent, wasn't it? Who? That bitch. <gasps> I knew I should have kept that somewhere else. Here, My God. Take this pass. It should get you through the storage room entry to the facility. I'm warning you, though. Once you're inside, you're trespassing in a high security zone. That means they shoot on sight. Good luck. You're going to need it. Hmm. Is there something personal going on between you and Benjamin Bayou? I suppose if I don't explain, a copy of that recording you oh. found might end up on the next SSNN report. Maybe. Okay. Fair enough. A few years back, the previous CEO of Jennerdine went missing. As the COO, I was next in line for the job. Hmm. Instead, Bayou muscled his way into the company and gave me an ultimatum. Either back up his bullshit Mr. Harada identity, or I'm gone. I had no choice. But I decided right then and there, I was going to do whatever I could to take what was rightfully mine. Mm -hmm. If that meant seducing Bayou to tip him off balance, then so be it. Luckily for me, Mike has been incredibly understanding about the whole thing. Hmm. She must be very important to you. Yeah. More than you can possibly imagine. Micah is the only person in this godforsaken city that's kept me from going completely under. Blimey. She doesn't want money, doesn't use me for influence or as a stepping stone to get ahead. She loves me for being me. And... I love her for being the same. Oh, that's nice. When this stupid bullshit is over, and Bayou is ten fathoms deep under Neon, we'll be there for each other. Forever. I mean, I will gladly do the job because I do not like the man at all. Um. Okay. If you get caught in Genardine, that's on you. Yeah, yeah. Good luck. Yeah, yeah. Hello. No one cares. Come on, Andreja, let's go and sort this nonsense out. I haven't seen a leech in a while. Good. We don't want leeches. They turn into terramorphs. Stinky. Alright, so we're going in here. Now, let's just yeah, have a look, yeah, actually. I... Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good with carry weights. But it's a living. Alright, love. It's I not really of an interest to me, my dear. Let's get in this elevator. Here we go. Or lift. Lift. If you're from the UK, call the lift. Da, 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 da. See, we I think we went into Genodyne quite a while ago, didn't we? 
Yep. Genodyne worker. All right. Now, Andreja, my dear, are you going to be sneaky, sneaky, or neon is for indulgence and decadence. I'm both disgusted and impressed. Yeah. All right. We're going to have to be sneaky. So, whoa. All right. That was a little random. Okay, we're in. Proceed to Genodyne's power core. Andreja, are you just just strolling about freely? I am glad we are on this side of the glass. Why? For what's a variety of reasons. What's on the other side of the glass? Oh my god. I've got to see now. Oh. Well, I mean, it's not that frightening, Andreja. It's a, it's a lab. Okay, really? Come on now. Is there anything else over here? Chemical storage. Huh. Can we open this? Yeah. All right. Well, I suppose we'd better um, head on through the old vents here. Aha! Just got word there might be an intruder in the facility. What? There was a sensor trip, could be a glitch, but we can't afford to take chances. Really? We've literally just walked in the bloody place. Alright. Okay, whoa. Through here, I suppose. Whoop! Anything? Is anybody else in here? Andreja, are you with me, Gil? Chicken, cheese, and onion. Huh. Interesting. Look at all this. Red trench. I thought we'd be able to get through here, but maybe not. Andreja, please. Just, 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 just. Get in! Oh! Jesus! Bloody robot! Christ! Oh, bloody thing! Oh, that's a bot. Hmm. Now, can we get past the bot, do you suppose? Maybe if we plop down that hole, plop. Uh -huh. Oh, get in the hole. There we go. Andreja, are you coming? Get down here, girl. Come on. Oh my god. I am engaging the enemy. Oh my god. I mean, Andreja, Jesus. Oh my god, what the hell is she doing? Catastrophic damage. Can I shoot it from down here? Hello? God bless it! Did she kill it? She, she killed it! God, Andreja! I mean, okay. But my days, Gil. We could have done without that. Bloody hell. <sighs> right, well. Right. Jeez, this is not good, is it? Bloody robots down. Best not to leave anything in this behind. No, no. Bloody hell, they might as well take it now you've done the thing in. Good lord, Gil. You're a blooming nuisance, you know, sometimes. Ooh, I see a PC. Can we do something with this? Oh, okay. We can't do anything with that because Andreja killed it. Is this something sturdy? Nah. Alright, we need to... We need to... Alright, alright. Let's just... just 
Carefully. Carefully. Andreja, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, 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 go. Oh my god. Oh, it's loud in here. D Damn. Oh, bloody robot. Just to be completely safe, it is probably best to avoid the kills. Yeah, I wouldn't bloody touch them. Good grief, you might as well stick a fork in a wall socket. Bloody robots, God bless it all. Any people knocking about? There is a PC. Oh my god. Bloody, bloody robot, go away! Oh. Okay. Ooh, what's in here? Ooh, fastest food. Laboratory resort. Project GRD 092A. Technician Shibata reporting. I am reporting on the progress of Chief Technician Bayou's project. The multi terabyte nutrient preparation node. We've discovered by that directly connecting the power conduct into the conduction grid matrix. We can avoid signal loss. This should increase our output significantly and reduce the result right. by the factor of at least 10. Our goal, as per the chief technician, is get the life out me then. Already the moment after I shut the door on the device. And though bit, we've come you. close, we are still falling short by three seconds. We shall continue to investigate. That, no, thank you. All right. Just some some lootage. That looks a bit okay. Bloody robots! God bless it. Get out! Get out! Right. Come on now. All right. Let's let's just be careful. Oh, there's somebody there. Okay. So the gap, we need to go over that way, but hmm. Okay. Well, let's just take a, a little glance. Can we go over this way? Oh, yes, we can. Come on, Andreja, this way. Let's go, 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 baby. Should we go through there, or it looks like it's it's up those stairs, but I think we have to go through the vents. Andreja, get in! Get in! Get in here! What? Is there a, like a kid here or something? This is a little bit weird. Okay, is there anybody in here? Hello? Master control room, eh? Yes, yes, no thank you. Ooh. Nothing else. Okay, so, so, so. Oh. Ah, let get in, get in, Andreja, get in! Oh, Andreja, please! Thank God, Jesus. Let's just shut this. There you go. Nobody will know. Hmm. It all comes down to the profit margins. Yep. The days of innovation of this company are long gone. Oh dear. Well, that's not good, is it? <gasps> oh, look at this. We can we can really see down there. Not that that really Should helps. Okay. Say hello. I suppose that would be inadvisable. It would, Andreja. It really would. All right, we need to be careful here. So, okay, okay, here we go. Oh, conduction. 
motion grid axis. Okay, not that way. This way. <sighs> Come on, Andreja, let's 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 go. So what's through here? Okay, well, this looks like it's going to be kind of horrifying. Easy, Andreja. Oh God. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, is there anybody out here? Now I'm assuming I have to go over here. Okay. Is there somebody in here? Oh, Jesus. Just go, just go, 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 go. All right. This bloody thing. Oh God, who, who? here. Alright, let's go. Oh. Whew. I mean, do you suppose? Can we turn this bloody thing off? Oh god, somebody's going to see us. Oh, I'd like to go and have a look, but, but I know I'm going to get caught if I'm not careful. <sighs> bloody hell! Right. Okay. Alright. Conduction grid lower level. Will there be anybody down here, do you suppose? Right. Hello. Obtain the conduction grid data. Is there anyone here? Ooh. Batteries, big batteries, holy guacamole. This is this is kinda cool. I mean, do you know what? Give me that cake. Andre Not that it matters, but do you think this Ooh. is perhaps the largest battery array in the settled systems? Probably. Uh, an unfortunate situation. Technician Shibata, currently posted to Genedai's R&D laboratory. Personal notation. I'd like to go on record about my feelings about Chief Technician Bayu. Though most of my fellow employees feel that he's underqualified and incompetent. I feel that they are underestimating him. I've spoken to Brayson at length, and I find him actually to be a kind and endearing person. Oh, she fancies him. I think that living in the shadow of his brother, Administrator Benjamin Bayou, has given him a bad name. And that's a shame. From what I can gather, he was placed in his current position against his own better judgment and asked to do the impossible. It's an unfortunate situation, but I will endeavor to get the rest of the technicians in the department to be more supportive. Well, good luck with that. All right, let's have a look here. Okay, uh, conduction grid description. The conduction grid is an electromagnetic absorption system utilizing the shroud suspended above neon as a lightning conduction array. When a lightning discharge is created between the array and the troposphere, the energy is dispersed evenly across the system's receptors. It is then transported via conductive conduits into our processing facility, where it passes through a series of polyphasic capacitors and rectifiers. This ensures that the incoming energy is equalised from its original positive and negative state. Once the energy is cleaned, it gets stored in power storage cells located in the power core of the facility. All right. Current power status. Uh, oh, maximum, 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 maximum. Wow. It's getting kind of full. And let's get these, these plans. Okay. Plans downloading. Conduction grid plans are highly classified as a safety precaution. They are encoded with 512-bit hollow matrix encryption. If decryption is required, please obtain a cipher from Chief Technician Berason Bayou in, in our sector. Well, gun. Bless it, Barbie. Oh, you made yourself right at home, Andreja. Bloody hell. We're only doing a little bit of sneaky espionage, you know. Okay. Oh, Jesus. One of those bloody cleaning robots. 
Don't like the fact that they can spot you. That seems a little. Stupid thing. Oh my god, there's a bloody robot there. A quick game. Last time you said that, we didn't stop playing for a full cycle. Had to call in sick to work, remember? Alright, alright. We'll keep it to six hours. That's if the dice go your way and everyone survives. Okay. All right. Okay. Do we go? Okay. All right. Jesus Christ. All right, all right, all right. Oh my God, Andreja, please. Oh my God, oh my God. Ooh. Oh God. Ooh, ooh. Should we? Should we? I'll tell you what, let's 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 shut this door. Is there anything else here? Yes, yes. No. What? Never mind. What's this? Genodyne's message system. Oh my god, there's loads. Ayumi Kimoko, you last your last batch of progress reports was very disappointing, Miss Deshmuch. Deshmuch? Three years, no results, there's no excuse for that, including trying to blame your failures on Chief Technician Bayou. According to your file, you came to Genodyne with the highest of recommendations, but apparently we were misinformed. If I don't see an uptick in successful results soon, I'll start searching for a replacement supervisor. Do I make myself clear? Uh, Technician Wanyan? Wanyan? I'm sorry to report another failure of experiment GDY072, although I'm confident that we could adapt the conduction grid to be used as an EM-type shield for spacecraft. I'm afraid our limitations are making the task impossible. I'm sorry to let you and Genodyne down. If you wish, I'll submit my resignation first thing in the morning. Uh, just checking in to remind you that the entire laboratory facility is to be completely cleared of all personnel for Mr. Harada's impending visit on Saturday. As you know, Mr. Harada is a bit of a germaphobe, and I have given him every assurance that he won't encounter employees during his tour. Fair warning, anyone at all that we encounter that day will be instantly terminated. Wow. Sita, I don't know how much more of these corporate shenanigans I can stand. I've been yelled at twice by Ayumi this week for trying to go over her head, and I'm worried that my job is in jeopardy. I know we both share the same concerns, so I hope you'll be able to meet me at Euphorica for a drink this evening. We have a lot to discuss. Discuss. Ah, so that's who who, who they were, Jai Nashida. Hmm, I'll have to look into that. Current power status. Eh. All right, nothing really of much interest. Let's um, let's go quick while we can. Right, Jesus, bloody, bloody, bloody robot! Christ. I was wondering how long it would take you to get down here. If you want the encryption cipher, you're welcome to it. I just don't want anyone getting hurt. Oh. How did you know I was here for the encryption cipher? Uh, when you accessed the computer in the power core, it sent a notification to be here. I knew you were coming, I, I just didn't know when. Oh. Uh, yeah, there's got to be a catch. Come on. No. No catch. I I'm not trying to trick you. You want the cipher? It it's yours. 
At this point, I'd do anything to get back at my brother. He deserves everything he's got coming to him. Oh. Um. I'm sure you have good reason to hate him, yeah. Oh, don't, don't patronize me. I know I'm no prize winner myself. But at least I don't spend my days trying to screw everyone over. Well, that's true. You know, I've spent my entire life living in Ben's shadow. Everything always works out for him. Well, I, well, I've been bouncing from one job to the next, barely keeping afloat. And all the while, he laughs at me behind my back. Thinks it's hilarious to make fun of his, his stupid brother. Like I wouldn't eventually find out. You should consider distancing yourself from your brother. <clears throat> Perhaps somewhere off-world. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Yeah, you could expose him for everything Shady's done. That wouldn't do any good. For every scheme he's gotten himself into, he has a bulletproof exit strategy. Man's virtually immortal. If such a thing were possible, it likely would have happened before now. I expect it is beyond your ability. You know what? I am sick to death of being pushed around. It's my turn to take control for once. All right. The passcode for my terminal is GEN-41A18. That should give you access to the cipher and whatever else you need. All right. I'm getting out of here while I still can. After you're done, I suggest you do the same. All right, dude. Um, how rough are things down here for you at Genadine? Yeah. On a scale of one to ten, one being the worst, I'm at about, I don't know, a negative eight. Damn. I don't have the background for this electrical engineering stuff. Chief technician? It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> ben stuck me down here, expecting me to work miracles. He didn't stop for even a second to think of the repercussions. That's so typical. Well, all I need is one breakthrough, one, and I could shove this job right in his face. Damn, that would feel good. Um. Yeah, he seems like a nice dude. I'm fairly sure the conduction grid can be adapted into an anti-EM weapon technology. Holy crap! You might be right. Uh huh. I mean, it would take some time, but. But I bet I could figure it out. Why don't you just have the technicians do it? All this time I've been trying to develop something new and it's been staring me in the face for years. Oh man, that is so like me. Mm -hmm. Thank you for giving me that kick in the ass I needed to get going. It's okay. Um. Alright, dude. Do me a favor and don't tell my brother we talked. No, I will not. He uh, wouldn't like it. That's alright. Uh, decryption routine. Oh, cool. So we got it all decrypted. Micro drive. Oh, this thing, Estelle's virus thing. Oh, I didn't really mean to do that. God bless it. Well, never mind. According to last month's budget reports, you spent over 10,000 credits and have nothing to show at the review. This has to stop. For the last two years, you've been promising some kind of breakthrough, yet you have absolutely nothing to show for your support supposed efforts. I've spoken to Mr. Harada, and we're both very disappointed, but willing to give you another chance. You need to bring something something tangible. Hmm. Brayson, we've had to pull storage cell 4 offline again today for a full diagnostic. According to our figures... It's reporting only 93% efficiency rating, which indicates that it's slowly but surely in a pro process of degradation. We must get the budget to fix these aging power cells, or it's a few year or in a few years' time we could be looking at total plant shutdown. Damn. Uh, as per your request here, the states are current active experiments. Failed, total meltdown. Replacement of windmill blades due to lightning damage. Damn. Lots of failures. Donald Lauren, Lauren Construction. The emergency exit from your office has been completed as per your specifications. The lift should bring you directly to the surface and can be easily accessed using the standard elevator call system. The cost has been deducted from your personal account as requested. Please let me know if you have any issues with the product. Alright. Yeah, I didn't mean to upload that virus. I feel a little silly now. But, well... Never mind. 
<sighs> Alright, dude. Well, good luck and all that jazz, you know. It's a nice office that you have. Uh, my god. Garbage. Alright, well. Okay. Alright, let's go and meet with this stupid woman. Where is she? I'm not happy about this, you know. At all. Take it easy. Yeah, I will. <sighs> oh. You're here, are you? Ah, there you are. Yep. What kept you? I believe we have a lot to discuss. We do, do we? It's obvious you're here to meet someone. Fortunately for them, they rented this VIP room under a false name. I assume that same someone provided you with that clever little virus you installed into Genodyne systems. Well, uh, you were expecting me? Well, yes. You didn't think your little foray into Genodyne would go completely undetected, did you? Um... Yeah, well, if you know why I'm here, then you know what's at stake. All too well. You know, I should give credit where it's due. That virus is quite impressive. It will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. That's the last time I'll ever take the Crimson Fleet's capabilities for granted. Hmm. Well, um... <sighs> yeah. If you know I'm from the Crimson Fleet, then you know we mean business. And I'm a businessman. Which means I know when to walk away from a deal. You want to know why? Go on. It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. Oh, I they see. They don't understand commitments or contracts. How to get the deal done with finesse. No. For your kind, it's only brute force and violence. Shoot first, take whatever you want, and ask questions later. Not always, not That's always. That's not how I do business. Um, Your arrogance is astounding, yes. That's what they tell me. Look, I'm not here to debate. I'm here to make an offer. All you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. In return, I'll let you leave the city alive. That is an offer? Your negotiating skills are impressive indeed. Hmm. What will happen to them? You don't have to worry about that in the least. You point me to our little mole and I'll do the rest. You don't even have to get your hands dirty. <sighs> Perhaps we can come to a financial arrangement instead, yeah? My dear friend, you couldn't possibly offer me enough money to offset the embarrassment that this has caused. Really? I'm afraid you'll just have to reveal your source. <sighs> Should we stay say it was Estelle? I mean, honestly, she wasn't very nice. She was rude as anything and very demanding. And it was her idea. Screw her. One of your own, I believe. Interesting. Hmm. Well, unfortunately for Miss Vincent, she won't be joining us for the rest of her life. Oh my god, they're gonna kill One her? One more body for you to stand on top of, to help you reach some unattainable height. So, I assume this concludes our little arrangement, and you'll be leaving our fair city. Oh, when you get back to the Key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my warmest regard. Oh, the temptation. The temptation, honestly. I could just do it. Nobody would know. Couldn't I? <sighs> well, there you go. Screw Estelle. She was rude anyway. I didn't like the woman. Alright. Well, let's get out. Good grief. I don't know. What a shambles. But, hey-ho, we, um... Success successfully? Successfully, um... Did it. Did we not? 
I don't like the look of you. And I don't like the look of you. So, there you go. No one's a winner. Oh, well, I think we will uh, leave it here for today, folks. Next time we will assumedly return to the key, tell Delgado, like I say, screw Estelle. She was just a, you know, she was just, I don't know, rude. Didn't like her anyway, so boohoo. Maybe it was the right choice, maybe it was the wrong choice, but who cares? Ah. So, until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves. <laughs>